Yeah. So I'm in hotel cabin B2. To be. Or not to be. <laughs> to be or not to be. That's my cabin. That's funny. Well, I've, I just got back in from the ocean and oh, they got kayaks here too. Well, it's been raining all day and I just figured, hey, if it's raining, I'm going out in the ocean. You're going to be wet. You may as well, <laughs> you may as well be really wet. Um, so, this is probably one of the best hotels I've ever been in, ever. This is Sierra Resort. I am north of the island of Flores, kind of in between Java and New Guinea. Those, those places look a little bit bigger than mine. I don't know. Uh, it's still sprinkling here. Uh, I just got in from the ocean. I went, I went, uh, I went all the way around this pier. And even though it's been like this all day, gray, cloudy, it, it, it's been raining for the last three nights. This is the low season. This is the start of the wet season. And uh, I kind of anticipated this. Um, so, yeah, when I was in Fiji and Tahiti, I knew the South Pacific, their wet season began in November. But uh, it just seemed like a good time to come here. And yesterday, it was great. Yesterday, the weather was remarkable. It was actually one of the best weather days here. And when I took that tour to Padar, Manta Ray Point, um, Komodo Islands, Jim was here. That's Flores over there. This is the Sierra Hotel. And the visibility wasn't too bad. Even though it's windy and stormy here, it's been raining all day, pretty much. And I had a nap in my cabin, to be, or not to be. Uh, yeah, Surreya Hotel on the island of Surreya. I haven't even walked out on the jetty, as they call it here, or the pier. Um, yeah, it's raining right now, but I uh, I've been doing all kinds of stuff here. Uh, it's nice to be active. It's nice to be talking to people from all over the world. France, Germany, Spain, Portugal, England, Australia. And uh, I can even lay in this hammock right now. Why not? Okay. No, I don't need an umbrella. I was just in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. So it's about to get dark here. Um, that's facing east, I believe. Um, I've I've lost quite a bit of weight. I think I'm down to like 170 pounds. Look. My belly is almost gone. 
I think I'm down 170 pounds. So, um, that's good for my back. It's good for a lot of different things. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but... Um, so here I am, 16 hour time zone differences away from Vancouver. And uh, 13 time zone differences to Toronto. And so this is my unit. Kind of nice. Uh, all I know is that tonight I'm going to have a good sleep. I already had a three hour nap, so I have to go back up to the lobby to get a better internet connection and I have to free up some more memory on my phone. And they also said that I could download some files on USB on their computer here, but my hotel room does not have, um, it does not have internet capabilities. There's no TV here, and there's no fridge. Perfect. I don't need, oops, wrong switch. All right. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. So, um, I don't know, this, I was told that this place was nice. It's like bamboo floors. Mosquito netting over the bed. It's, it's like a cabin feel. And what's this? Oh, these are weird. These are weird windows. All made from bamboo. That's interesting, but um, I didn't even bother with the hotel safe tonight. I'm only here for one night, and uh, check out this bathroom. It's very similar to that other bathroom I was at in uh, Gilly Minnow. and but this hotel is shaped like a manta ray. Uh, I, I forgot to check that out tonight. Um, when I was out in the ocean, but tomorrow I'm going to plan on waking up very early. The sun rises here at about 5.30 and uh, they're so concerned about plastic here. That's why everybody has to have glass water bottles here. What's this? Lights? Oh, how do I turn those on? I don't know. I'll find the switch later. Um, so, for a bathroom, this is pretty amazing. This is my bathroom out back. Um, so, yeah, this is Seraya, Seraya Hotel. Um, and... I have to take a, a boat tomorrow morning. I have to leave here about 7.30 or something like that. Uh, my flight leaves on Air Asia back to Bali from Luju and Bajo. So somehow I have to find a way to get back to Luju and Bajo tomorrow early. I'm going to have a quick breakfast here. There's free breakfast. But I can't take the public boat that was originally intended. I have to arrange, probably pay more money to get uh, a private boat. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Still Australia. Australia. <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I have to arrange to get a private boat around 7 or 7.30. Uh, but they might change my flight again, as they did before. They changed the date, AirAsia, 
Originally it was the 11th to the 18th, then it was the 12th to the 19th, and so I was there on the 12th, and the airport has been closed due to this G20 conference with Trudeau and Biden and all that. All the VIPs, they're worried about bombs, and everybody's been checking my bags. Um, and, uh, but, yeah, there's a pretty good chance tomorrow that they will change my flight again, and hopefully they don't cancel it, because how the heck would I get back to Canada? Yeah, uh, but people have been reassuring me that they've shut down the airport for a few days in Bali, uh, where all the dignitaries are, but um, they said by the 18th it should be reopened again, and that's what it is today, the 18th. So... Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, going to purge my phone with getting rid of memory and all. What's that? Oh, hey, that's cool. Look at these lights. Huh. Okay. Wow. There you go. And uh, I still have to figure out the lighting situation out back here. Oh, there. I think I just did. This is a cool bathroom. You gotta admit, this is a cool bathroom. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Um,. Too bad anybody, too bad.